To get there, some of them ask pretty darn good questions. In fact, some of the most honest and funniest questions come from kids. So I've invited a couple of smart kids to ask me any question they have. And first up is six-year-old Bella. How are you, Bella? I'm very good, thank you. You have wonderful poise. What grade are you in? I'm in first grade, and I love it. <laughs> first grade, she loves it. And what are the favorite things you do to have fun? I like to play with my dolls, and I like to play with my stuffed animals. Yeah, I'm sure you have lots of questions about your body, and your mom probably tells you lots of things. So what kind of things come up that you might want to ask me a question about? Well, Dr. Oz, my mom said if I stick my finger up my nose, it'll get stuck. Is that true? <laughs> your finger up your nose, and it might get stuck. Well, your mom might have fibbed a little bit. So, you know, she's, she's a little bit right and a little <laughs> bit wrong. Your finger will not get stuck up there, but come on over here. I want you to worry about those things, but I built you a little model. So come over here, stand there. Now, I'm going to show you why it's a problem to pick your nose, and it's not because your finger will get stuck up in there. So I built you this big nose. Do you like this thing? Before you put your hands up in there, <laughs> you're going to want to put these on. She is ready for prime time here. All right, so the whole story of the nose picking problem, and the reason your mother is actually right, starts with Things like dolls. Do you like dolls? Of course you do. We all do. But dolls, unfortunately, because kids play with them a lot, will often get germs on them. So as they get germs on them, and we touch those dolls, go ahead and pat the doll. No, you don't. Well, go ahead. Those, now you have lots of germs, but go ahead and pat the doll's head and play with his arms. So now you have the germs on your hands that whoever played with that doll last had on their hands. Okay? Now, when you go and pick your nose, guess what happens? You put your fingers. We both have germs in our hands, right? All right, now use this hand. Get germs up there. Put it up in there. You put it up in there. What happens? You start to scratch or you itch it. There are little areas inside the nose that get irritated, and without realizing it, boom! Oh, 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 oh! Without realizing it, you have all this stuff that accumulates with bacteria growing in there and viruses that love to grow inside your nose. So I think you're wise not to pick your nose. What do you think? Any questions? Does it make sense? Not sure? What? I've got a little. Go ahead. Yes, there's more up there, but don't go for more. <laughs> I think you got enough. So here's the deal I've got a present for you. I've got a towel to clean you off with. Let's get these off so you don't get your dress messed up. And I want to give you a little present from the show. The, pre the present from the show is your own brand new Kleenexes. So what I want you to do. Use those Kleenexes instead of your fingers to clean your nose. Okay. You are adorable. Take care. <laughs> All right. Next up is six-year-old Josh.